Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. This is Malik Arjun here. Uh, right, today I'm gonna uh, demonstrate one of the interesting automation when uh, DBA can do it in day-to-day uh, -day activities. That is when you're having a standalone databases, how to shut down and start up your database using a small automated script, uh, using a DB start and DB shutdown. For example, DB start is a built-in utility and DB shutdown is a built-in utility, which is available inside uh, Oracle Home Bin, uh, probably Oracle Home Bin. Uh, this is a location. Uh, you can see your DB start and DB shutdown. Uh, let me go here. Let's see Oracle. I'm gonna set one of the environment here, DevDB. And then if I go here inside Bin, LL DB, LL DB start. So this is one of the DB start and then LL DB shutdown. So this is a DB shutdown script and DB start script. So these are the built-in script. We can just use a DB start and then just a Oracle home. So whatever the databases are running under this particular Oracle home, everything will get started. Uh, you know, if I running 10 databases from this Oracle home, all the 10 databases will automatically starts. And the moment I do DB shutdown Oracle home, if the 10 databases are running from this Oracle home, all the 10 databases will go down here. So that's the beauty of your DB start and DB shutdown. But in order to use DB start and DB shutdown, you have to make sure that your ETC URA tab should be set here. ETC URA tab, your SID followed by your Oracle home and then followed by your auto start. It should be Y. If you make it as a N, your DB start and DB shutdown will not work. If you make it as a S, auto restart, whenever you uh, bounce your server, automatically this sub database will get started here. For example, I can quickly show you here, PS-EF grep smon uh, I have two databases, uh, CDBDB and DBDB, both are running from same Oracle home. And then I mentioned it as a yes here. The moment I want to shut down both databases, I can simply use uh, shutdown and the Oracle home. I'm just gonna run this one here. You can see processing your database setting down. I can take a duplicate tab here and then I can tail this particular log, which will give you that shutdown options. All right, so let's go here, take this log, tail hyphen F, and then that's it. You can see here, your database shutting down here, and now it is shutting down my CDBDB. You can see, DBDB shut down done, CDBDB database is going down. You can see this is a log here, connected to database and doing a shutdown immediate. Right, database disclosed and database dismounted and instance went down, right? So this is a log, you can see it here. Database dismounted here. Instance is down, CDBDB instance is down. You can see both the DBs are down. If I do PS and EF, grab PS mount, so both the DBs are gone. So the moment I do now, uh, bin DB start Oracle home, both the database will get started. I can run that command here now. Copy that one and run it here. Right, so DB start. You can see the same log here. DB start, I'll just cancel it, tail hyphen F. Right, you can see your instance is getting started. Your DBDB started, and then now it is starting with your CDBDB. Right, so your CDBDB is getting started here now. Right, database mounted, database started. Right, your both databases are started here, PS hyphen F. Grab S mon. You can see both the DBs are back online, right? So that's a simple way. Like, you know, these are the built in command DB shutdown and DB start. You can use them and then you can do automate. But, uh, you know, the one of the uh, important thing about this DB start and DB shutdown, you have to set up your ETC or a tab with a SID and Oracle home and followed by auto restart as a S. And if I make it auto restart as a no, it will not work. If I do or a tab, and if I edit this one here, and if I make it as a no, if I make it as a no, right? So then you can run this shutdown now. It will not work out here. It'll just say completed, like, you know, uh, and then if you run this startup, and then that they just uh, completed, but it'll not work out ideally. So your uh, ETC or a tab should be 
uh, set it and then it, ha it has to point to auto restart as a Y. If I make it again, Y. Right, and then again, if you see like, it will clearly say the first and second fields indicates your system identifier and Oracle home. System identifier name and then Oracle home, first and two fields. And uh, the third field indicates uh, DB start utility. The DB start utility, the database should be Y or should not be started or should not be brought up during the system reboot. That is as a no. So it has to be set as a Y when you are using this automation. Right. And then other thing is you have to run this DB start and DB shutdown as a Oracle user, the respective Oracle owner. If you run it to the root user, it'll not work out. Like if I do exit and then I'll go to root user. If I run or INV and then dev DB. And then if I do DB shutdown, it'll not work out. DB shutdown. And then if you tell this log, it'll say unable to connect to database because root user will not have access to database, right? Invalid username and password log on denied. It will not be able to connect to my database, right? So it has to be run with Oracle user and your ETC or a tab, all the Oracle instance details, the respective Oracle home, and it should be auto restart as a yes. And then you can use this DB shutdown and DB start automation to make your uh, maintenance activity database shutdown and database startup uh, automatic maintenance. Thank you guys.